So let's start off here because it is a pretty long third of quote retweets. I will say that. Oh so my God, yeah. it stemmed off of Stephen A. Smith going on the Joe Budden podcast. Um, Joe Budden had him on. They talked about the meat and potatoes, his time at ESPN, the Shannon Sharp collaboration, et cetera, et cetera. And as, uh, specifically at one point, he asked about the relationship and the fall off with Max Kellerman. So I'll just read the tweet right here. Stephen A. Smith stated he didn't like working with Max Kellerman. He also believes the audience might not have been as receptive to Max because he wasn't an athlete or journalist. I had mad respect for him for the standpoint of white dude, highly intelligent, Ivy League, educator from Columbia, smart as a whip, can talk his ass off, can talk about anything. I get all that. But you weren't an athlete and you weren't a journalist and the absence of the two components left people wondering why should we listen to you? So that's the initial quote right there. And then this guy, um, just honestly a random person, quote retweeted that with the clip of T.O. on first take from like 2016, um, essentially stating that like, yo, um, I think this is during the peak of the Colin Kaepernick conversations as well, yeah, talking about how like was. Max Kellerman is blacker than Stephen A. Stephen A then responds, yo, I ain't gonna lie, you cross the line. You cross the line. So... This was the quote retweet, and then T.O. himself quote retweets that saying facts, and this shit got Double like down. 33 million views. Um, views I hate you. <laughs> and then Stephen A. quote retweets T.O. saying, or maybe I'll just dedicate the entire Stephen A. Smith show slash podcast on YouTube this Monday to all the things you tried to do behind the scenes to brothers over the years while claiming someone is more of a brother than others. Uh, let me think about that over the next 24 hours. Hashtag sick of this. Hashtag enough. Hashtag. A couple more tweets. My uncle couple had more to tweets. step in on this shit. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, T.O. Yeah. T.O. then quote retweet say, uh, says, behind what scenes? Again, man, I'm not worried because I stand on my character and who I am. You better come with some facts and not this hearsay and anonymous sources because that's not gonna fly. And then that's it. Uh, my my uncle came in and was like, "Yeah, oh, Kyrie told Kyrie told niggas, hey bro, unless you're going box." Oh yeah, Ky Kyrie <laughs> as well. Kyrie as well was like, "Yo, handle this like grown men. Uh, talk privately, please and thank you. Get off the timeline." Y'all on each other's cops. And Chad, I'm trolling. Balls. Kyrie didn't tell him to fight. Jesus Christ. Um, he, I mean, that's what I got. <laughs> nah, hey, hey, he said, hey, so you know, you're going to talk like some goddamn adults. Get off social media because they know what they do. Uh, off rip. Look, man. Stephen A did not have me in the first half. He got he got me in the second half when it comes to TO shit. That TO shit is crazy. I don't I don't know. Look, man, like there there's certain moments where you can get your shit off, but that that was a crazy thing to say on live television. That just fucking wild. Um, but in terms of like the Mac situation, it kind of made me remember what we were talking about with the uh skip and Shannon situation, bro. I, I it's it's a disconnect with the audience in Stephen A's case, or maybe that's just the way he's sugarcoating it. Nobody was thinking Max wasn't a credible source. That's what his I idea was, that uh, the chemistry wasn't there and that Max wasn't being perceived as a credible source. Everybody fucking loved Max. At least the niggas that I talked to at the at, at the lunch table and the group chats, the, the uh, comment section, everybody fucking loved Max. Whether he was crazy wrong, like how you are, or crazy right, like how sometimes how you are. It, it, and everybody was like, okay, cool. Max knows what he's talking about. Dude's not stupid. You called him bright several times so i didn't like his reasoning for that now at the end of the day his reasoning is his reasoning but it it was kind of just like at best you don't have a connection with your audience worst case is same thing that we talked about could have been alleged with skip where it was like you didn't like that he was on the come up crazy and it was even even and out at your level i never think and he shouldn't have been insecure if he did think this i never thought max was surpassing Stephen a but if he had that mentality or insecurity, that's possible well, as well. Well, he said this. He said this thing, and that, that's kind of why I wanted to play the clip. He said this uh, uh, sentiment that because Joe Budden doubled back and was like, "Oh, was it? Or it was either Joe Budden or it sounded like Ice or uh, one of them." I, I seen the clip. He said, um, "What was it? The views or what was it?" And he said, "No, no, no. I mean, it wasn't that. They weren't going down or anything like that. But we weren't going up. We were just here with it. We were just kind of mm -hmm. here, and it was it was Sorry. feeling real stagnant." Um, to keep it all uh, 100, like in this weekend, at least my timeline has been cooking them for this. Um, and sadly, when I was streaming, I was focused on the Shannon shit. That that was what was important to me. But this thing is crazy. 
Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Max Kellerman was embarrassing him on political issues. Max Kellerman was embarrassing him when it came to Black Lives Matter conversations, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 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 Colin Kaepernick situations, riot conversations, weed conversations, protesting conversations. He was not he, he wasn't just winning those debates. He was flat out embarrassing. And literally, that's when they started these memes of Stephen A being a, a trash badger. Like that's that's a trash panda, whatever they call it. But that that's when all that stuff was happening. Was that time, or it was all the times during the bubble, during Rona, during all these BLM uh, movements, Skip, I mean, Shannon, I mean, uh, Stephen A and Max were having conversation, and Max was embarrassing him. Not, not beating him. Not debating. That's that, yeah, in terms of debate, it wasn't yeah, close. Not, not, not beating, embarrassing him. Yeah, it, was, it was bad. Yeah. It was bad. My, my takeaway from this whole situation is uh, Stephen A is a nasty guy. I ain't gonna lie. Stephen oh, A is a nasty guy. Cause I was I was looking at it on my stream, bro. He has this repetitive nature of when he gets called out, he threatens to like leak shit Lonzo. that are behind this. Lonzo, To, um, Kevin Durant in the past, mm -hmm. he, he's like apparently To even sued him for uh, trying to leak information that shouldn't be public. Um, now. And shout out, shout out to Florida man for the sub. Now the thing is, he's never actually gone out and done it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But this whole blackmail card of, hey, I got dirt on you, man. You better shut up. And doing it publicly too, like on a public platform, ESPN, his own show. It's, don't let me get on you and all the shit I got on you. I think that shit is crazy. And also with the quote about Max Kellerman, he just got to stop capping, bro. Yeah. The reason why. You didn't want Max Kellerman on first take was because he didn't have enough pull. Period, point blank. Period, point blank. This whole um, argument of, man, a reason why Max Kellerman, he just wasn't working on first take was because I know the audience, right? <laughs> and the audience doesn't really appreciate a person who doesn't come from a journalism background. Cap. Yeah, and he's not an athlete. So what the fuck does Max Kellerman bring to the table? That's why we were getting stabbed. You know what he said? You know what he said verbatim? He said... He didn't have the cachet to sit across from Steve. Yeah, Smith. Man. that's exactly yeah, like, what he said. For those that have ever watched the clip, bro, it is insane. Yeah, yeah. hey, like, your bitch ass. This shit, up, this shit is gross, bro. And, and the I just find it so hypocritical because again, like whenever people calls out Stephen A on his credibility about, yo, why the fuck are you speaking on basketball? You ain't ever played. His defense is again a nasty defense. Yo, don't don't let me get on you with the dirt I got on you. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes to this situation, when it comes to your show, now you're the gatekeeper is he wasn't he didn't even come from a journalist. And I find it funny because I said this on stream, bro. That whole gatekeeping conversation is so funny because everyone's like, there could be ten people in the room. Yeah, we should gatekeep. We should gatekeep. But the level of gatekeeping is different from all those ten people. You said that one. And it's just it's it, it just gets funny when the door stops and the door closes when you're right there in front of in front of the door. Mm -hmm. And I think this was just one of those cases, bro. All right, Dom, I'll go before I speak again. Oh yeah, niggas just retweeted everything I'm about to say. Honestly, the niggas mm -hmm. just lied. He he lost he he lost me the moment he just blatantly lied, wanting to say, oh, he's not a athlete or a turner. Brown, my coochie pink, my booty hole brown. Brown. Um, yeah. <laughs> Saying, oh, he's not a journalist nor an athlete, so I'm not sure if the audience really wanted to hear what he had to say. No one thought that. Like, flat out line of everybody that was watching your show is insane to me. And I knew from day one, the moment, I knew when T.O. said he was more black than him, Max was wasn't going to last long. I knew at that moment. But before then, you could see all the conversations they were having, he would get waxed. All the pool that he had in terms of everyone in the comments that Sage said, or just perception when you had those conversations at work, lunch table, group chat, everybody was like, damn, Stephen A is getting cooked. He is getting Um, I remember sitting with my granddad, uh, rest his soul. We were sitting there watching. And he was like, man, and he's a big Stephen A guy. Damn, Steve's getting cooked, ain't he? I was like, yes, yeah. Yeah, and my aunt used to say, <laughs> rest of me, my aunt, he used to say that all the time. He was like, damn. He's getting it. Like, he's getting, Max is giving it to Steve, Max ain't he? Yeah, it. Yeah, he used to say it. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, pop, hey, pop. Now, now look up him rapping. Like, every time, look up him rapping. How about that? 
but yeah, like I, it was insane that you would really go up there and have this kind of prestige about yourself. Like I get it, respect for everything you've done for the analytic for the analyst game. I I understand that, but to sit there and try to act like Max Kellerman wasn't on his shit, to sit there and act like it was really people that had a problem with Max and it wasn't just you is lame. And I didn't even realize the whole trying to pull the blackmail card on people. That's just the lame. weird thing about this situation is that Max has never said anything publicly about mm, Stephen that A. Smith. My, that, that Stephen was going A. To be... is literally out here doing press runs bashing Max. After he got Max removed, he did a Breakfast Club and Hot 97 interview the same day. S- I would say they're H. asking him the question, though. I mean... Yeah, so I, I was gonna I was gonna bring that up, and then I was gonna talk about what I think Stephen A's long term goal, which I do think he accomplished. Stephen A wanted, Stephen A always wanted, um, like like a, like to be honest, black co host. He always wanted a black co host. He wanted to see his brothers win and have that more barbershop talky vibe to his show, and that's where I think the disconnect with his sh- with his audience is. Niggas didn't exactly like thirst for uh, just a bunch of niggas yelling at each other they didn't thirst that and that's not exactly even what's going on with uh steven a and shana right now it's organized as well so i'm not even going to the raccoon ship of saying that but that but like i I don't know what it was about max maybe some behind the scenes maybe maybe it just simply put and i wish he was just saying it that he just didn't get along with him chemistry wasn't there he just didn't like he's a cool guy but wasn't my cup of tea wish he was just saying things like that i could accept that but reality was a lot of people were arguing outside of Stephen A and Skip, and half of those arguments were nostalgia. That first pe- that first take was on S tier time, and it was their favorite show to watch. While Skip and Shannon are doing Skip and Shannon shit, that they, they preferred first take time in and time out. So it was just it was just kind of sad to see. I want to go back to what the super chat brought up because that was going to be my next thing. It, it 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 gets really sad on how like Max this whole time and maybe he has been speaking and we don't know about it. Uh, alert us if we are. I don't want to spread misinformation. Max, God bless, hasn't said a thing about this dude. Uh, to my knowledge, hasn't word. said one word, especially a negative word about Stephen A. He's just clocking in, clocking out, doing what he can, trying trying to get back. I don't know if he's work where he's working now because of the whole ESPN crazy bullshit. But man, that that shit is so crazy to me, bro. That that shit is just wild. I think there, I think there's two reasons why. Um, and Stephen A said it in this same Joe Budden interview. One, Stephen A's a chatty patty, so he's gonna say something. But two, I think that Stephen A definitely has more cachet or power than uh, a Max Kellerman. So That's when he was there. when he was saying that Stephen A was like, "Yo, if I don't get Shannon Sharp, a brother on here." And I don't want him to be like 2009 where he's just left out in the dust to hang and there's nowhere for him to go. So because I, you know, I, I got the report that I have with the bosses or whatever, I, I asked him to come over here. Max knows that if he were to say something, how he feels, the truth, or whatever the case may be, Stephen A. Smith might say something. And now Max can't be on different networks. I think he doesn't have the best relationship with Fox either. Um, you know, whatever. But I'm I'm looking at his his sports broadcasting acumen. This this goes back. This goes back to the nineties. Oh yeah, Max Max been in the game. Yeah. So but that, but the way that but if you if if you hear Stephen A. Smith, he just doesn't have a sports analyst background. But and like, he's being disingenuous to why the fuck people watch first take, bro. Yeah. Who is watching that shit for the smartest conversations and? Uh, you know the the hottest tea, not even well, hottest tea is different, but like breaking news. Like, there's a difference between watching Woj and like first take. People and, and watch you, that shit for entertaining uh sports and baseball. You, like, you know why that's point. true? You know why that's true, B Souls? Because the people that followed Max was Ryan Hollins and Will Kane, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not watching first take for Ryan Hollins and Will, just especially Ryan Hollins. I'm for sure not watching it for Ryan Hollins. Man, I, I'll, I'll take it a step further, Souls. I don't even necessarily agree with 100% what you just said. Max was introducing that audience to a first take. The stat, like Stephen A used to gaslight Max all the time in the debates. Yeah, that's true. On how he used to yeah. implement yeah. stats, advanced stats. JJ Reddick before JJ top, Reddick, low key. AD's a top five player in 2019. Nobody was saying Anthony Davis was a top five player. He wasn't making out the second round. That used to be the bar. Max Kellerman comes in and he's like, what? 
swept DPOI, damn near averaging 30. He swept Dame in the first round, damn near by himself. I know y'all go to Drew Holiday, but the whole time, like, like this, this, this nigga Max introduced a lot of new arguments to media time in the timeout. And Stephen A would just uh, basically like call him a nerd on live television. So it's tough. Damn what Ryan Hollins do. I didn't know that. Nah. I, I do find it interesting because someone someone pointed it out too. Like when first take started when it, when it was just Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Skip was the crazy dude and Stephen A would be the one that brings um like maturity to the conversation, sense into the conversation. That shit flipped once Max Kellerman came onto the show. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of times Stephen A looking like the dumbass and then Max Kellerman being the the one that making sense. So I felt like there, there's people are saying like Stephen A just got tired of being looked at as the dumb one. That's why I didn't want Max on on, on the show. A- apart from like the pull and shit like that. So now he wants his dynamic, and you kind of see it with you know the the casting that they've had ever since. Where Stephen A is again, he's the authority figure. He's the the smartest guy in the room. He's not the one viewed as a dumbass and getting cooked in these in these debates. So. Yeah, I don't even necessarily fully disagree with that. I I've always been a reserved person because I I would like need to, to damn near meat, bro. I mean, nah, I ain't gonna say meat, bro. If it look like a duck, I'm hearing some quacking. I'll say that. But if I see this motherfucker start waddling and swimming on a pond, I'm not gonna say he's a cow. And it's definitely telling with 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 these uh, analysts or these sports media guys, whatever we're supposed to call them. When every time a new face is trending, how quick that face can go away. That's that's starting to become telling. And it's also telling that, yo, Stephen A's best, like, shining moments where he's obviously the most happiest is when he's in a debate that, like, you know he could win unless he has a hot take. And with Max, Max was a genuine who's going to win this debate this episode. That's what me me and my aunt used to watch for. We used to be like, who's going to piss us off? I got Stephen A, I got Max. And then we used to debate who's right between the two. Because that's how even it used to be. Nowadays, it's like if you don't agree with Stephen A, you probably agree with some hot take that Russo said, or some cowboys till I die take that um Irving said, or some or some wild ass bias ass take on first take. And then Stephen A, as so said, is usually the more neutral one. And even if he agrees with them, he's usually on the neutral side of things. Yeah. Also, I'm getting good at uh, spotting these press runs. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, for this sure. is mm-hmm. this is all part of a press run. Offset going from Kai stream to Colorado. That's that's part of a press run. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all seen that Tanache clip too. And we can get into it too if that's the next topic. Like, okay, so my hot take is that's, gone. That's, no, 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 no. Your, your, hot take, your hot take isn't gone. Your hot take isn't gone. <laughs> no, no, your hot take isn't gone. I just felt <laughs> uh, that. That's all I'm saying. I felt. I felt like even her saying that on a podcast the week a single of her comes out. Press run. Everything's a press run. Hey, re- hey realer. Did you just realer now kid, realize man. a lot of these rappers when they're on podcasts or. On somebody's live stream, they're doing a press run. Really? No, I'm just, I'm just getting easy. Uh, it's just getting easy for me to see like why shit is trending. It's not because oh shit, this is just a random thing trending. Nah, it's, it's part of a press run. Nah, really? I'll, I'll say this so we can um. Do y'all think mainstream sports media as we know it is dying, dead, or alive and well? Oh, uh, it's changing. It's changing. It Thank you, bro. Right. It's changing. It's not dying. La- last thing I'll say about this, and then we can go on a hot take of the week. Um, I'll, I'll say this. Shannon, not Shannon. God, I keep fucking their names up. Stephen A definitely prided himself on being the the brother in the room, mm-hmm. in, the, in, the, in those rooms. I was the brother. I'm the brother in that room. Um, Bomani Jones isn't up there, right? Because Bomani Jones would challenge him on a lot of things. Uh, Jay Adonde isn't up there, and I know these are some of the older names, but these are guys in sports media. But it's not. That's not too many brothers up there. They got the uh, the meathead jock black guy that comes up there, and he's not really gonna press nothing. So when T.O. said that, and truth be told, Max was really pressing his B-star on those black topics, I don't know, rubbing the wrong way. No, um, I did not like that comment. I will, I will die by that. T.O. saying that. Oh, I, I yeah, think I, it's, I I think it's wrong. Comment. Yeah. I think if we're having the conversation offline, I might say something a little he seems more. He seems more educated than you, something like yeah, well, that. You know, that have, That's fine. Saying, yo, he be blacker than you sometimes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have said that on TV. That's, now, again, that's, that's we, we have... Cool. Online, I'm like, I'm like, 